G'day, I'm Ash. Hope you're all doing well. This is the 1.77 dev server for the new update that is going to come to War Thunder soon, TM. And today we're going to be taking a look at some of the new vehicles that they're going to add to ground forces. So, strap yourselves in, let's get straight on with it. One thing to note here, this is a development server, so everything is still under testing. There's still going to be a lot of bug fixes and what have you. So, in other words, everything here is subject to change and will probably not be the same when it hits the live server, at least. Starting off with the Americans, we've got the Israeli Magach 3, a rank 5 battle rating 7.7 .7 premium. A rank 5 premium for the US is definitely welcome. It's got a 105mm M68 cannon that can hold 57 rounds. For hull armour, you've got 110, uh, 76 on sides and 30 rear. For the turret, you've got 128mm front, uh, 73 side and 50 rear. This thing also has a top speed of 48 kilometres an hour. As for ammunition choice, you have four to choose from. You've got one smoke shell, one APDS, one HESH, and one uh, heat FS. Now, the heat FS has 400 millimeters of penetration at all ranges. The uh, HESH has 127 millimeters at all ranges, and at 500 meters, the uh, APDS has 296 millimeters of penetration. As for the smoke shell, we don't have to worry about that. This is the M1 Abrams, a rank 6 battle rating 9.0 main battle tank with armed with a 105mm M6A1 cannon with 55 rounds of ammunition. It's got a 12.7mm heavy machine gun and two 7.62mm machine guns as well. On the front it's got 145mm of armour, on the sides it's got 62 and on the rears it's got 31. The turret armour is 145mm, uh, same for the sides, and 12mm at the rear. Now, it, it weighs 54 tonnes and that is a monster and a half, but it has a decent horsepower and the top speed on this thing is 72 kilometres an hour. As for modifications on this thing, you've got five ammunition choices to choose from. One smoke shell and four normal shells. Well, I should say normal shells, but they're actually uh, APFSDS with a uh, max penetration at 500 meters of 345 millimeters. There then is a HESH round at a max penetration at all ranges of 127 millimeters. You've then got the heat FS shell, the M1 Abrams has interesting internals. As you can see, it's all shielded on the inside. It's got some sort of composite armor on the interior, which also shields all the ammunition here. It's got rolled homogenous armor on the inside as well, and the engine is absolutely massive. Don't stand uh, behind the engine there. And, uh, well, that, that's pretty much it to say. Apart from the fact that uh, you can survive a shot to your Amorak because there is some sort of explosive shielding that'll stop your Amorak from detonating. This is Germany's Rank 6 Battle Rating 8.7, a monster of a vehicle. It's an upgraded Leopard. As you can see here, it's got an 120mm uh, Rheinmetall L44 cannon. It's got a 20mm secondary cannon, which will be great for taking out uh, secondary targets. And it's got a 7.62mm machine gun as well. It weighs 50 tons and can do a top speed of 27 kilometers an hour. And, well... It's hull armor, and armor is nothing to be uh, desired for. It's got a hull armor of 59 on the front, uh, 29 on the sides, and 12 on the rear. As for turret armor, it's a little more impressive. It's got 122 millimeters of frontal armor, 45, and 29 millimeters of rear armor. As with the Abrams, it has some interesting spaced armor on the internals. And, well, certainly interesting indeed. It's got spaced armor everywhere. And, it, well, it's got a lot of protection for, for some parts of the crew. It's nothing to be desired, however, as the armor on this vehicle is quite trash. So let's move on to the modifications. It's got two shells to choose from and not even a smoke shell. However, it does get access to some smoke grenades, which can come in handy at a later point in time. The first round you'll be getting with the vehicle is a APFSDS with 410 millimeters of penetration at 10 meters, and it just slowly peters off uh, over the ranges. However, the next uh, shell is the most interesting shell. This is a heat FS uh, shell with 600. 50 millimeters of penetration at all ranges at zero angles. So if you can get a side shot onto something, it's going to go through. 
This is Russia's T-64B from 1984. I suppose that's how they're going to distinguish between the other T-64s, because I know there are thousands of variants of the, the T-64s. I'm even confused myself when looking at various modifications of the T-64. However, this has an 125mm gun that can hold 36 rounds. It's got a 12.7mm uh, machine gun and a 7.7mm machine gun. It weighs in at 39 tons, being a lot lighter than some of the other vehicles uh, that previously mentioned. However, it has a weaker engine, and its max speed is 60 kilometers an hour. As for armor, it is... well, it is impressive compared to the Leopard. Its hull armor is 135 millimeters, the sides are 85, and the rear is 45. And of course, you can't go anywhere without a Russian log. As for the turret armor, however, it is 140 millimeters on the front, 110 on the sides, and 65 on the rear. The interior is, well, quite uh, bl blank compared to the other vehicles. The turret has shielding around some of the uh, ammunition, and, uh, well, that's really it. There's some ammunition holders there with some various composite armor, and then there's a, a thick layer of composite armor on the front. There's nothing on the sides, there's nothing on the rear, and well, it's compared to the other two tanks that we've just looked at, I reckon uh, the Abrams and the Leopard are looking a fair bit better in terms of crew protection. As for ammunition types and choices, you've got five to choose from, an APFSD shell with 440mm of penetration at 10 meters, and then you've got a APFSDS shell with 470 millimeters of penetration at 10 meters. You've then got a heat FS shell which does 440 millimeters at all ranges and then of course it wouldn't be Russian if you didn't have high explosive which does 47 millimeters of penetration at all ranges. And of course it's got a special shell. This is the anti-tank guided missile, the ATGM. It does 650 millimeters across all ranges. This is Britain's Challenger, a rank six battle rating 9.0 monster. I'm very much looking forward to this thing because it also has a 120 millimeter L11A5 cannon that can hold 52 rounds of ammunition. It's got a 7.62 millimeter coaxial machine gun and it's Mass is 62 tons. It's got a maximum speed of 56 kilometers an hour, which doesn't make it the fastest, but considering its heavy weight, it certainly makes it a quick vehicle. As for armor, it's nothing to be desired. Like the uh, Leopard, it only has 130 millimeters on the front. It's got 45 millimeters on the side and 25 millimeters on the rear. As for turret armor, it's got 160 millimeters on the front in various spatial uh, configurations, and 105 on the side, plus 44 on the rear. Not too shabby. The internals are quite strange, and this is probably where the vehicle's weight goes up, because there is a lot of composite armour everywhere. And it is just absolutely everywhere on the side of, on the sides of the vehicle, it's got it on the insides on the front of the vehicle, on the front of the turret, on the side of the turret. However, the lower half of the vehicle is unprotected, so I reckon this vehicle will be an absolute ace when it comes to hull down positions. The Challenger leaves a bit to be desired, as the modifications that it gets, well, its penetration is not the best. The standard shell is 398 millimeters at 500 meters, and the Hess shell is 152 across multiple different ranges. The shot L23, however, leaves a bit to be desired, as the other three tanks that I've just reviewed have a bunch more penetration than that. This is France's vehicle. It's an AMX 30B2 that's been upgraded, and its nickname is Brennus. It's a rank 6 battle rating 8.7, with a interesting looking profile. It's got a 105mm gun, and it's also got a 20mm uh, coaxial that the commander can fire, and a 7.62 coaxial as well. Its mass is 38 tons, being the lightest so far, with a decent top speed of 65 kilometers an hour. As for armor, it has a lot in common with the Leopard. It's got 79mm at the front, 35mm at the side, and 30 at the rear. The turret armor is 80 on the front, 41 on the side, and 30 at the rear. In terms of x-ray, it is just an absolute clusterfuck. Look at all these little explosive ERA uh, composite armor things. 
I, I don't even know how to describe them. But it's just all over the place. Yeah, I don't see this tank being very good, but, you know, if you're a fan of French tanks, by all means, go for it. It has four shells that you can choose from. The first one being a heat uh, high explosive anti-tank shell with a penetration at all ranges at zero degrees at 360 millimeters. It's then got a high explosive shell which we won't talk about and it's also got a smoke shell which we also won't talk about. Then it's got an APFSDS shell with 342 millimeters of penetration at well 500 meters. So again a bit lacking on the shell department but then again what what can you expect it's french anyway i hope you enjoyed there'll be a couple more videos to come but uh, stay tuned anyway my name's ash and i'll catch you in the next one <laughs>